Hey, what's up? I'm Warren. Here again with another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my ex started dating during no contact. You know, I received an email about this and they wanted to know what can they do about this. So getting straight to it. You might be in no contact phase, you know. You might y'all you and your ex probably break apart for whatever reason. You know, and y'all time apart, your ex might start seeing someone else. And you was like, like thinking like that, you know, we just broke up, we just split up, you know, you know, we might get back together and you already dating someone else. You you just gonna take advantage of, you know, your freedom right away. So you wanna know what to do in this situation. The first thing you wanna do is accept the situation. Don't become crazy and start start stalking the other person, start doing violent stuff. Getting other people to call your ex from different phones, fake accounts, doing all just unnecessary things. You know, it won't get you any closer to your to, to your ex. It only gonna push them further away. You know, don't be delusional and tell your stuff tell yourself, make believe things, hyping yourself up for whatever reason. So the first thing you need to do is accept it. Accept it. And think about what could have, what might have caused y'all to break up and work on that you know work on that what might have broke y'all up and because you cannot control anyone the only person that you can control is yourself you know i know you're going to go through the emotions the ups and downs the feelings that you're going to have the anxieties can't eat sleep things of that nature go through that pain it's necessary and the thing you want to do most of all is focus on yourself. Like I said, then when you go in no contact, stay in no contact. Don't reach out to them whatsoever. Like I mentioned previously, don't with the fake accounts and all that stuff. And overall, you're going to have to stop caring. A lot of times when you go in no contact, your partner feel that they are free. Now, if they venture off and go into another relationship right away after y'all after right as, as soon as you go in no contact understand that's a rebound relationship it's not built to last it's not built to last that person is hurting also when you know when people go through a breakup both parties suffer because you know if they really care about you both people suffer because they have feeling you have feelings attached to that person no feelings don't go away overnight. So a lot of time what people do is they jump into the little air water relationships and they suffer and they hurt. So they figure this other person can soothe their pain, not knowing that the other person is making it worse. Now when that relationship fail, they have to deal with the pain of two failed relationships. Some people just keep jumping in relationship after relationship. You know, um, but the thing is, that's their problem. The only person you're responsible for is you and yourself only. So worry about yourself. You know, you is the most important person. You should be practicing and studying how to make yourself more high value. Don't make When you make yourself high value and then starting to improve yourself in every area of your life, you look at stuff like this as something minor. You know, I know you might probably been married to the person. You know, you was probably have kids with the person, things of that nature. But I guarantee you, when you work on yourself and improve yourself, you will be preparing yourself for, to deal with any situation that comes up. You know, um, so and another thing you want to think about, too, if that person so quickly to jump into another relationship, they don't they they, they probably was been been no planning on doing that they probably you know break up with you just to do that so they don't have an excuse and they can throw it back in your face so like well we was broken up at the time so no they they probably been wanting to do that you know just pay attention to people actions pay attention to people actions you know people will say anything people will say anything the actions tell you tells you how they really feel about you 
you know? That's the key. Their actions. You know, they'll say one thing and do another. Don't let people bread come from you, aka lead you on. Don't let people manipulate you. Stop giving the other people your power in the relationship. They only do these things because you allow it, because you give them your power. See, the thing is, somebody gonna try you once, you know, um, you know, they can get over you one time, but they, if they continue to get over you and use you, that's your fault, because you're allowing them to do it. But the moral of this video is this. If your ex started dating while you were in no contact, do absolutely nothing as far as they go. But as far as you go, you improve yourself and better yourself. And why, when you do that stuff, your value as a person increases. You level up. Then you look back on that ex that you know you probably broke up with, and you look at that person like you would need me now. You know why would I go back to that? You know that's like working out all day and go eat fast food. That don't make no sense. So with that being said, if you like to get in contact with me, send me an email. You know, send me your stories. I love to help. That's what I'm here for. And with that being said. Peace. Take care.